Joining us now to discuss conservative attorney uh, George Conway. Uh, George, uh, Trump could be the first former president in American history to be arrested. Do you think this case, what we know of it, involving Stormy Daniels and the falsification of business records, do you think it really rises to the magnitude of such an unprecedented step? Uh, I, you know, this wouldn't be the first case I would bring against them if I were if I were the director of a movie trying to figure out how to how to properly organize this. But the fact of the matter is, it's a real case. And, and the thing to remember about it, and particularly when you hear the gaslighting commentary of of Speaker McCar of former Speaker no former Speaker McCarthy, he, he this case was originally a federal case brought against Michael Cohen for campaign finance violations, failure to report basically a straw donor, uh, re a reimbursement. Um, this was a case brought by the Trump Justice Department. The Southern District of New York brought this case and told the sentencing judge, again, the Trump administration told the sentencing judge for Michael Cohen that what the Cohen's crimes were committed at the behest of and at the direction for and for the benefit for Donald Trump. And so these are these are serious. This is this is serious. These are serious offenses. The, the thing about Trump is he's committed so many others that it kind of looks less serious than say trying to, you know, overturn the election and trying to overturn the Constitution and so on and so forth. So that that's the only reason why this, if this case has any flaws. It was that that it should have been brought as a federal case uh, at noon on January twentieth. 2021. So that's interesting. So you think anyone protesting this case theoretically in order to be intellectually consistent, if they weren't protesting the prosecution of Michael Cohen uh, by, I believe it was uh, then U.S. Attorney Michael Berman, is that right? Who, who Donald Trump had appointed. If they didn't yeah, protest- Jeffrey Berman, yeah. Jeffrey Berman, I'm sorry. Yeah. If they didn't protest that, then they shouldn't be protesting this. It's com entirely inconsistent intellectually. Well, it, it's consistent to say that this was a this was a political prosecution. I mean, this you know these are real potential campaign finance violations when you're doing something. And and let, let's let's not you know they say oh it was because he was afraid of Melania. This happened days before a presidential election, and that was frankly Stormy's leverage. That was Stormy and her lawyer had leverage over Trump because of the possibility of a last minute disclosure. And the reason why the money was paid was to keep her quiet before the election. It was a contribution. It was it was something that, that Michael Cohen put to put up his own money, borrowed from his home equity loan, and then he was reimbursed. And both the making of that illegal contribution and the the the, the bookkeeping in in the reimbursement are, were illegal. And the only question I think in New York law under New York law is going to be whether it's a misdemeanor or a felony. You tweeted that Donald Trump's best defense would be to plead insanity. Was were you just being cheeky or do you mean that? I was being a little bit cheeky. Um, I, you know, an insanity defense is actually pretty hard under under, uh, under most jurisdictions' law. You have to show uh, that a person is incapable of determining right from wrong, and, and in order and, and acting on that basis. And Trump, you know, he always almost always does the wrong thing, but he knows the difference between right and wrong. And the reason why he knows the difference between right and wrong is he's always denying things when people say he did something wrong and he's always accusing people of doing something that the things that he did yeah. so he knows what the difference between right and wrong is and so it, an insanity defense really wouldn't work that said he is clearly decompensating in some sense that if you look at the social media tweets that he has put out over the last few days i mean this is not this is not a man who um He's not a man in full command of his faculties. I want to get your reaction uh, to one of the many claims we're hearing from Republican congressmen. This one from uh, Kelly Armstrong of North Dakota earlier today. Everybody's going to have their own their own opinion on these things, but I can tell you from my experience, if the defendant wasn't Donald Trump, this wouldn't be brought by a DA. Uh, that that's just the truth. Now I keep hearing that, and that yet I remember. I don't know if, how similar a case it is, but I remember the, the prosecution of former Senator John Edwards, um, and that was during the Obama administration, and that was for not exactly the same thing, but it was about uh, 
fundraisers and donations and uh, a girlfriend, an extramarital yeah, but, girlfriend. It, 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 were they similar? Right. They found that they found a rich woman, a rich old lady to give money to um, Edward's baby mama, in essence, to keep they keep her out of sight and keep her out of, you know, to, to, to help the campaign. And I think the problem in that case wasn't a legal problem. It was just that I think by the time of trial, the woman who gave the money was was really not in a position to testify because of her uh, physical condition. But that said, it's a, it's a perfectly it's a valid legal theory. It was a valid federal legal theory. It should have been brought. The, the fact of the matter is this case isn't being brought because he's Donald Trump. This case wasn't brought by the U.S. government during Trump's administration when Trump's administration was investigating it and told federal courts that this was a crime. It, he was not prosecuted because he was president. So it's actually the exact opposite of what this congressman is saying. Interesting. George Conway, thanks so much. Enjoy the, the slopes behind you. I'm jealous.